friends we are talking about merge sort a very popular sorting technique and let us see what all steps are involved in merge set so you are given an array suppose this array contains some elements like these the first step in the merge sort is that you need you have to divide your input array into two parts right so it is a divide and conquer algorithm the first step is we divide our array into two parts and these parts are about the midpoint so we are going to separate our array of size n into two arrays of the sizes n by 2 so the first array becomes 5 6 1 and the second array becomes 2 4 0 this is when we have divided our array into two parts let's say this was the starting point this was the ending point and let us say this was the midpoint so one part is from start to mid other part is from mid plus one till the end the next step is to recursively sort these arrays so we can say that we have a recursive function merge sort which recursively sorts these arrays and this array becomes 1 5 6 and this array becomes after sorting as 1 2 and 4 so this is the second step so first step is divide second step is to sort and the third part is to merge and we know it is quite easy to merge two sorted arrays using a two pointer approach so what what we do we can simply say that we will keep two pointers let us say there is a pointer i which points at this position and there is a pointer j which points at this position so we compare which of which the element is smaller sorry this element is zero so this element is zero we say which element is smaller so we can know that out of zero and one the zeroth element is smaller and i keep a third pointer k here so whichever is smaller comes to this place so zero comes to this place so j moves a step forward now we will compare element one with element two so we know that one is smaller so one will come to this place and our i pointer will move one step forward so i comes to this place now we will compare 5 and 2 i know that 2 is smaller so 2 comes to this place and our j pointer moves one step forward now out of 5 and 4 i know 4 is smaller 4 comes to this place and j moves one step forward now since j has already crossed the ending point or we can say that this array has been exhausted we do not have any elements in this array which can be compared with the elements of this array so what we do we directly copy all the elements till i also reaches end into this array so we will copy here 5 and we will copy here 6 and i also reaches the end of the array so this is how we finally get a sorted array so this is the idea of the merge sort we will first try to write the same thing into the code then we will do more analysis how recursion is actually working over this array so let us get started with the coding part first so in the merge sort since it is a recursive function we are going to have a base case so the smallest array that we can sort comprises of, of one element let's say i'm getting the starting point of the array and i also get the ending point of the element so if there is one or zero elements then we do not need to sort them so i can say if start is greater or equal to end then you can simply return because you do not need to sort an array containing a single or a no element otherwise you have to follow three steps the first step 
is to divide to divide we need to have a midpoint midpoint is nothing but start plus end upon this gives you the midpoint then you have to recursively sort the two arrays and the first array starts from s and goes till mid and second array starts from mid plus one and goes till end so you can call merge sort over the two parts first part is array starting from the s going till the mid the second part is starting from the mid plus one going till the end and that's it and the third step is you have to merge the two parts so let us write the merge function So in the merge function, what I will get, I will get an array. I will get the starting point and I will get the ding point as well. Midpoint can be computed again. So let us first compute the midpoint. Midpoint is nothing but start plus end upon two. And we need now need to keep three pointers. So I is at start, J is at mid plus one, and K is also at start. This is what we need to do. And I take a temporary array where I which I use to store the combined result after merging. So what what I have done is I have taken three pointers one pointer is start other point oh, sorry one, one pointer is i which points at start one pointer is j which points at mid plus one and another pointer is k which points at the starting of a temporary array so this is the temporary array and finally after merging the result in a temporary array I'm going to copy back this array into the original array. So we are going to make original array A equal to the temporary array because this is A, this is also A and this is temporary array. When the final result is known, we are going to copy the result back to our original array so that the actual array is sorted in place. So how do I compare? So I check while i is less than equal to mid and j is less than equal to end, I can compare the two elements. So if a of i is smaller than a of j, then I can say temporary of k will contain array of i. Otherwise I can say temporary of k will contain array of j because that element is smaller and i also need to increment these pointers so k plus plus i plus plus j plus plus and again k plus and this will continue when both of the smaller arrays have some elements so let us once dry run again so suppose if the elements are 1, oh, 4, 5, 8 and here suppose the elements are 2, 7 and 10. So what I need to do, this is array A, this is also array A. So in the temporary array, I need to compare which element is smaller. Is AI smaller or is AJ smaller? And if AJ is smaller, I am going to write temp of K++. plus plus. This is K. So here I am going to keep the smaller of the two elements 2 and I am going to do k++. So k comes to this place and j comes to this place. And suppose the array is exhausted. So suppose that this array, this array is exhausted. So I will write while j does not reach the end until all the elements 
are not copied we will copy all the elements as as it is or maybe this array has some pending elements like 18 20 so i will copy all these elements until all the elements of the array are not exhausted so i can say while i is less than equal to mid you can directly copy array i or it is quite possible that j is not reaching the end then while j is less than equal to end i i will copy all the elements this is equal to array of j plus and finally we need to copy all elements to original array so i can say for int i equal to start i less than equal to end i plus plus and original array a of i will be equal to temp of i so we are copying all the elements back to the original array and here we go with the merge function let's say merge array a from start to so this is the merge sort now let us test it we have a array as input and let's call the merge function on it or merge sort function on it we give the array starting point is 0 ending point is n minus 1 and let us try to print all the elements the array after so I am giving five elements and I have to merge them. Let's run our code. So you can see after merging, we got a sorted output. This is how the merge sort is working. Now let us try to break down how this is working at the smallest level. So let me draw the diagram again. So I have a array like this, the elements which I had taken are 5, 6, 1, 2, 4 and 0. So the first step is a that we divide the array into two parts. So what, what happens is we divide this array into two parts. the first part contains 5 6 1 and the second part contains 2 4 0 now we say further divide this array into two parts because what we are going to do we are calling merge sort on this part we are calling merge sort on the left part if you carefully see so this array becomes like this 5 6 and the other part becomes one and in this direction we will go later after this part has been resolved right after calling merge sort on this part this array should become 156 so now what happens is we call merge sort on this part so it becomes 5 and it becomes 6 so for this smallest array this is the left part this is the right part so basically we have called merge sort on these two so since these two are only containing single elements so our function will return from this point and merge routine will be called so when we when we merge them so it again becomes 5 6 so this part is now sorted the second half of this array is also sorted left part is sorted right part is also sorted because it is a single element the merge function will be called when we merge these two parts it will become 156 now the left part is sorted of this array it's time to call merge sort on the right part when we call merge sort on the right part the same steps will follow so first we will divide it into two parts so it becomes 2 4 and is a 0 again it will call merge sort on this it becomes 2 and 4 
since it is a single element it is sorted so after merging it becomes again 2 4 and for this array the left part is now sorted we need to sort the right part since it contains a single element it is also sorted so after combining this becomes 0 2 4 so we can see clearly that the left and the rightmost parts are now sorted so after merging these two what we will get we will get out of 0 and 1 0 is smaller out of 1 and 2 1 is smaller out of 5 and 2 2 is smaller out of 5 and 4 4 is smaller and this array is now exhausted so remaining elements these elements will be copied here due to the loop we have used this array will become like this and finally these elements are copied back to the original array thus giving us the, this final sorted array so this is our final sorted array so what we did we divided our array we used sorting on a smaller problem we conquered the smaller problem that's why merge sort is also called a divide and conquer sorting algorithm